All right, so question number six says, um, the diagram below shows a um, scale drawing of a running track. It consists of a rectangle and two semicircles with diameters um, LN and um, MP. So L, LN and um, MP are both equal because they're on opposite sides of a rectangle. So they're both, the diameter for both semicircles is 49 meters. So the two semicircles combine together to make a full circle. All right, we're asked to show that the total distance of the um, running track is 350 meters. So we are asked to show something. All right, so this running track has a um, total of what, um, four edges. There's the length here and the length here. And the, so that's the two straight edges and it has two curved edges. Now the two curved edges are two halves of, um, of the same circle. So the two curved edges together um, form the circumference of a circle with a radius, sorry, with a diameter of um, 49. So the total length, which is what we're asked to find, the total length would be the circumference of the circle, which is um, two pi r plus the two lengths, which is two L. So it's the circumference, remember, if you have the distance going around two half circles is the distance going around a full circle and the distance going around from a full circle is the circumference. And the formula for finding the circumference is two pi r. We're told in the question that pi is 22 over seven. So what we have is this is two times 22 over seven times the radius of the um, semicircle which is 49 divided by two. 49 divided by two is what? 24. All right, let's just put 49 divided by two. 49 divided by two. Two into this is two. Two into this is four and a half. So it's 24.5 times 24. Sorry, it's two pi r, not two pi. All right, and if I wanted to, I think I would have done this. Instead of putting 24.5, I would simply put 49 divided by two. Plus two L, so it's two times L, which is 98. Let's work this out. This two cancels this two. Seven to this one, seven to this is seven. So we have 22 times seven. Um, 22 times seven is 154. plus um, two times 98, which is 196. And when you add these two together, you get the total length being 350 meters. So we were asked to show that the total length is 350 meters. We just did that. Next, we are told that Nathan walk, walks at a constant speed of 1.4 meters per second. We're asked to calculate the time it will take him, Nathan, to walk seven laps around the track. So first of all, let's get the distance. What is the total distance for seven laps? It would be um, 350 times seven. So if he's going around the track seven times, the total distance he's traveling is 350 times seven because the distance one time around the track is 350. This is 2,000. 400 and 2,450 um, meters. So going around the track seven times is a total of 2,450 meters. The speed is going around the track at is um, 1.4 meters per second. Now time in speed, distance and time calculation, time is distance divided by speed. 
So the distance, the total distance is 2,450. We're going around the track seven times. Divide by the speed, which is 1.4. Using a calculator, this is 1,750 seconds. So we're asked to say, well, how much calculated time it will take um, it will take him to walk around the around, to walk seven laps around the track. It will take him a total of 1,750 seconds. How do I know the time is seconds? Because if you are doing time calculation and the speed is meters per second, time must be in seconds. All right. If the speed is meters per second, the time must be in seconds. It says Tafari. Um, runs one lap of, um, of the track in 68 seconds. Determine the number of laps Tafari can complete in one hour. Well, first, let's determine the amount of seconds in an hour. Seconds in one hour. Now it's 60 minutes, 60 seconds, that makes one minute and there are 60 minutes in an hour, there's a total of 3,600 seconds in an hour. 3,600 seconds in an hour. Now, if Tafari is running one lap in, in 68 seconds, the number of laps she would go in an hour or he would go, number of laps in an hour, would be the total number of seconds in an hour divide by the number of the number of seconds they take to run one lap so if i want to determine the total number of laps in um, that tafari can make in an hour i need um since she took 68 seconds to complete one lap i need to divide the total number of seconds by 68 seconds to determine the number of laps she could make and my answer here is 52.9 laps. All right, some persons round it up and say 60, 53. I wouldn't do that. The answer is 52.9. In one hour, she would not have completed 53 laps. It's she, in a sense, she just fall a little bit below 53 laps. It's 52.9 laps. Next, we're told that Nathan um, completes. Um, running one lap of the track in um, every 57 seconds. Um, Tafari and Nathan start running at the same time. Um, same time um, from point L on the track. Each complete um, a number of laps on the track. Calculate the least number of laps that each will complete before they are both at point L again at the same point. All right, so this, this is a question, it's a worded question on, um, on um, LCM. It's a worded question on LCM. Now you have um, Nathan and Tafari and you have Nathan. All right, Tafari is completing a lap every 68 seconds. And Nathan is completing a lap every, what, 72 seconds. All right. So in essence, um, Tafari is completing her laps in multiples of 68 seconds. So she would take 68 seconds. Then she would take 136. She's completing her laps in multiples of, what, 68 seconds. Nathan is completing in la his laps in multiples of 72 seconds. The number of laps that they take together must be, sorry, the number, sorry, the number of laps needed that both must take in order for them to, sorry, the, num, the amount of time, sorry, the time it will take um, for both of them to come to um, end up back at the same point must be a common multiple of 68 and 72. 
And since I want the least number of what, the least number of laps, I want the, the first time, the second time that they are again together. And the second time that they are again together is the LCM of um, 68 and 72. Not so sure if that was the clearest of examples. So let's find the LCM of 68 and 72. Hope you remember how to do this. I'm going to divide both 68 and 72 by um, consecutive prime numbers, starting with the, the first prime number that can go into both of them without leaving a remainder. I divide both by two, then I try two again. I get 17 and 18. You keep trying two until you can't try it anymore. Write back 17, nine. When you can't try two anymore, you move on to the next prime number, which is three. Three cannot go into 17 without a remainder. You write it back. Three into nine is three. Try three again. You get one. You write back your 17. The last prime number you're going to try is 17. Now you're finished when you're when one is at the bottom of every column. The LCM would be the product of all these factors. 17 times three times three um, times two times two times two. The LCM when I calculated is 1,200 and 24 seconds. So the amount of time it would take for both of them to again come back to the same point L on the track, it's 1,224 seconds. But that is not what you were asked. What you are asked is, what is the least number of laps each must take? So let's start with Safari. The time is 1,224. She does a lap every 68 seconds. In 1,224 seconds, she would have done 17 laps. Um, Nathan. All right, in 1,224 seconds, Nathan would have done Divide by 72, Nata would have done um, 17 laps. I made an error. This is 17 laps. And up here should be 18. So um, how much laps must they do before they are again at the same point? Safari would have to do 18 laps and Nathan would do 17 laps. Um, to do um, 18 laps, um, Tafari would need 1,224 seconds. To do 17 laps, Nathan would need 1,224 seconds. And after 18 and 17 laps respectively, both Nathan and Tafari would again be at the same point L on the track. 